Dramatic video to share tonight of a burning Indigo bus. One man was arrested, charged with arson. That bus went up in flames, smoke billowing from it. CBS 4's Eric Graves talked to neighbors who actually thought their homes were on fire. This Indigo bus is set to be out of commission. If it's salvageable at all, you can see where the fire tore through and really melted this first section of the bus and then continued even closer to the back. Look at this. As flames rolled out of an Indigo bus Wednesday morning, drivers stopped to stare at the growing blaze. City bus on fire, 38th and Meridian. That's Mark Martinez's voice you hear from the video he took from his car on 38th Street. And it was just terrible. I mean, it just was billowing out like an inferno. It was just caught fire so quickly. Martinez says he saw people get off the bus minutes before it was fully engulfed in flames. It was huge. I had never witnessed something like that close up. Neighbors nearby say the smoke was reaching above the roof of their apartments and they woke up to the smell of it even seeing smoke in their hallways. My daughter actually woke me up this morning and she said, she said, Mom, Mom, it's raining ash. And I'm like, what? The Indianapolis Fire Department says three passengers and the driver got off the bus after the driver noticed smoke and evacuated everyone. Two people were taken to the hospital but are expected to be okay. Oh my God, this is terrible. Absolutely terrible. Indigo called the bus driver's actions heroic. Meanwhile, IMPD made a quick arrest. An employee at a nearby McDonald's took this picture of what they say was officers arresting a suspect after he attempted to hide in the gas station next door. Police reports show 45-year-old Demarcus McCloud was arrested. He was preliminarily charged with two counts of arson. The estimated damages to the bus and the station are $2 million. Pictures IFD took inside the bus show a blackened interior and melted bus seats. Just the property damage itself. I mean, just reckless. It took fire crews about 10 minutes to get the flames under control, but it took workers nearly five hours to haul the now wet and burnt bus carcass away. And he goes now assessing the damage here at the bus stop here on 38th and Meridian, seeing how long, if at all, it'll have to be closed. Reporting on the north side, Eric Graves, CBS 4 News.